I come down here, and the guy's on the phone the whole f***ing time, and he's talking, and he's got the music loud, and he's got his the seatbelt, you know when the seatbelt's not, like how does, how does somebody live their lives with the seatbelt chime going off the whole f***ing time? So, so I go to get out, and I give him, I give him $15, because usually it's about $15 cab ride to, from Sasha's to my, my apartment, right? So he goes, he starts yelling at me. He's like, oh, no, no, $25. I was like, I go, no, there is no way in hell that this is a $25 cab ride. I go, I'll split it with you. I'll say, I'll give you another $5. He goes, no, 20 He told me to take the money back. I should have just taken it. <laughs> I go, whole, but then, the yeah, they're like, just take the money back. I don't even want it now because I've disrespected him. But then, you know what's going to happen? He's going to be driving by my house all the time, giving me the eye. <laughs> Here we go. One, three. <laughs> One, two, and three. Right on. We are Gotham Imaging. We print here in New York City, the photo capital of the world. I'm Pete Verbarian, and as always with me is Ryan Speck. If you are using antiquated photo processes, shooting with toy cameras, making your own cameras, maybe, fuck it, maybe even making your own film, we will find you. We want to know how you shoot, how you process it, and how you do what you do. We're also here to tell you, the print is not dead. Print is Not Dead is brought to you by Ilford Imaging. On this episode of Print is Not Dead, we chat with Eleanor Carucci. For two decades, she has been photographing the private moments of herself and her family her newest work is called Born. It chronicles her pregnancy, the birth of her twins, and the first four years of their lives. We will discuss her transition from the darkroom to digital printing, working here at Gotham, and maybe even some belly dancing. My name is Eleanor Carucci, and I'm a fine art photographer working and living in New York, originally from Israel. And I have a show right now at Sasha Wolf's gallery that was printed here at Gotham Imaging. I used to make my own prints. I used to print in a dark room. And when I was talking to Sasha about the show, she wanted prints that are more archival than C prints. And she introduced me to Peter and Ryan. And we said, let's try working together. And I remember coming here to see the first test. And um, I came and looked at what Ryan did, and I was blown away. So we're here with Eleanor Carucci on the last day of her show at Sasha Wolf's gallery. And we're gonna talk about how the prints got made, the concerns. Eleanor was so used to printing all her own work in a traditional darkroom setting and not making any digital prints. So, you know, what was your concerns with working with somebody? I think the concerns were, were a giving up the control that I had in the darkroom. So how would you guys understand the look of my prints, the color palette, how I want them to to appear, and also the transition from negatives through the drum scanning to an archival digital print and how it's going to work and to right. make them look the best we can. I think first I was nervous about involving someone else in making the prints because I've been making my own prints since I was 15, so it's 25 years of, of doing it by myself. There was a lot of, um is this really going to work out? Am I, have I made the right choice? And you know, looking here at the walls, I think things worked out well. Yes. So she worked very, very hard with Ryan Speth here. I spent many hours here because we had to get to know each other. We coined the phrase a hammock client, where somebody who shows up and she brings her lunch and almost brings like a blanket. Maybe it's more like a picnic client. <laughs> so it was, you know, it's my first show with archival digital prints and I wanted to make sure that everything is okay. And also it was fun here, you know, they made me coffee, got me lunch, my kids were playing around, um, and it's definitely bigger than my apartment in Manhattan. We're gonna look at some of the images now, and we're gonna talk about some of uh, the things that went into making the, uh, making the prints. This is the darkroom print that Eleanor has made on her own. And we have some variations of the prints that we've made here at Gotham. I want to get everything globally fixed, so I'm really going to play with color balance and levels and curves and kind of take it to a point where 
kind of happy with the overall image and we've got everything kind of there. And we want to make a beautiful print and we don't really necessarily want to match a darkroom print. It's like darkroom prints aren't always beautiful. You know, they're not always really nice and we're trying to make something that's really cohesive for the rest of the show and just really kind of beautiful. You know I'm a photographer. Yes. yes. Do you like Yuma's images? Do you like my yes. images? Yes. Enjoy. We don't my favorite this. one is the one in the bathtub. The one in the bathtub. Do you remember this moment? Do you remember wanting to get out of the bath already because yeah. you had enough? Yeah. And then I told Abba to press the button, one image, and we got you out of the bathtub. Do you take pictures yourselves too? I think you said um, you want to get a I camera. I said I wanted to get those little digital cameras where you could take that thingy that sticks out mm -hmm. inside. I like those, so that's why I want to get one. They usually like to take pictures of things that really like. And I've been always photographing my life and my family. And this is the four years starting when I was pregnant with twins, a boy and a girl, and the first three years of their lives. But I think the work of motherhood is more raw and extreme because that's the way I experienced it. Um, and becoming a mother, I realized that for me it was frustrating how motherhood is being represented by the media or the art, even the history of art. Um, which is mostly the beautiful Madonna and child moment and the beauty and love and dedication of motherhood that is there. But I also really wanted to show the other moments, the tiredness, um, what happens to your body, the loss of sleep, the loss of youth that you feel. Um, and, I, and I wanted to pair it side by side with those beautiful magical moments that we have in the show and to give a more realistic picture of what it is to be a mother. What I was making a living off was a, it was something that I already did professionally in Israel was belly dancing. You, so do you have like a you have a move here at the table you can show us just a really simple kind of kind of thing. I don't want you to get off. Very minimal. Yeah, very minimal. That's pretty oh that's oh, oh. so does it need to does it need <laughs> and is there, is there, I'm going to try and do it and I'm going to ask a question at the same time. Is there like a symbolism? No, I mean so like... Is it like <laughs> kind of like the hula real, like the hula means something? Am I doing really creepy? <laughs> ah, let me... Dun, 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 this is not belly dancing. This is what? belly dancing. So what if, you're not, what if you're not that flexible? Is that better? Then you open um, Gotham Imaging and <laughs> never try to be a belly dancer. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Eleanor, I want to thank you so much for being on our show. I would like to thank Sasha Wolf for getting out of bed early on a Saturday and letting us shoot at the gallery. I'd like to thank Waldies for this wonderful, wonderful pizza. And um, I want to thank you guys for not only printing my show and supporting me technically, but also giving me the emotional support that an artist needs while doing a show. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> that, was a warm, that was a very warm moment there. Warm, I hope you guys caught. I hope you guys caught that. <laughs> Didn't I ask for more beer? <laughs> I am Eleanor Carucci and I print my work on Ilford Gold Fiber Silk. There you and go. I love it. Ah, she <laughs> loves she loves it, America. <laughs> <laughs>